Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. How you doing tonight? Good evening, Elisa. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I am tired, teacher. Tired? Why are you tired? Uh, working. Oh, you were working today? How many hours did you work? How many hours did you work? Sorry? How many hours did you work? A bakery. Oh, you work in a bakery. Okay. Yes. Are you a baker? Not less. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. So you're having fun. I love to eat chocolate cake. In solo pan francés. Ah, bread. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, that's nice. That's nice. Hey, ¿y cuántas horas trabaja? Como three hours. How many? Tres. Six. Tres. Three. Yes. Oh, that's not a lot. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get started. And we're going to be taking a look at the first video, which is coming from passive section 3.3 .3, passive of present continuous, present perfect, and future. Passive in the present continuous, present perfect, and future. Everybody, please listen to the video. All right, it already says share the sound, good. Hi, in English we tend to use passive voice a lot. Stay and learn how to use it in present continuous, present perfect and future. Passive of present continuous, present perfect, future. Use these passive tenses for action where the emphasis is on the object of the action. Use the passive of the present continuous for ongoing actions. An increasing number of degrees are being offered online. Okay, uh, let's see another example using the passive of the present continuous for ongoing actions. Who can give me an example? Okay, I can give you an example. Um, let's see, for example, an increasing number of degrees are being offered online. Okay, we can say, uh, many, many new neighbor, Hoods are being built and in La Libertad. Right. So in this case, what is the present continuous? Many new neighborhoods are being built in La Libertad. So we have the B verb are. We have the B verb in the ING. And then we have the past participle. Who can give me another example using the B verb? The B verb in ING. And the main verb as the past possible. Who can give me an example? Anybody? Okay. Um, another, okay. Um, uh, Salvador del Mundo. Salvador del Mundo. Is 
being decorated for the Christmas holiday, right? Can somebody give me an example? Something that is ongoing. Hi, teacher. Hello, Carlos. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I don't know if you, uh, my, my, my example is, um, I don't, it's correct, but uh, uh, okay. I, wor I work in, in the park. Okay. Nice. I, I am. I am working in the park. In the park. Tonight. tonight. Excellent. I don't, I don't All right. This one, that one is present continuous. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. That's good. That's good. Um, let's see. Um the Chinese library. The Chinese library is being built in downtown, right? La biblioteca está siendo construida en el centro. The Chinese library is being built in downtown. Right. Uh, many new neighborhoods are being built in La Libertad. Uh, nuevas colonias están siendo construidas en La Libertad. Uh, Salvador del Mundo is being decorated for the Christmas holiday. El Salvador del Mundo está siendo decorado para las Navidades. Vacaciones. Do you understand? Any questions? Any questions at this moment? Any questions at this moment? Okay, who can give me one example? One example. Somebody give me one example. Please. Anybody. One example. Who can help me? All right, let's watch the video one more time. Use the passive of the present perfect for recently completed actions. More music has been downloaded this year than ever before. Okay, let's look at the present perfect. For the present perfect, let's say um, more music has been. The B verb is been. Over here is being. Over here is been. And we use the auxiliary has. Over here, we use the B verb and downloaded the past participle. So here, more music has been downloaded this year than ever before. Let's say, let's say, um, a lot of people have visited El Salvador this year, right? Mucha gente ha visitado a El Salvador este año. Uh, let me see. 
par circulation has improved in El Salvador. Right. La circulación de los automóviles han mejorado en El Salvador. Who can give me another example? Who can give me another example? A new program is being created to help poor people. Excellent, Christina. That is correct. Good job, Christina. A new program. All right, Christina has an example. A new program is being created to help poor people. Perfect. Good. All right, guys, uh, let's continue. At this moment, does anybody have any questions? At this moment, does anybody have any questions? Huh? Anybody? Okay. Who can give me an example? Who can give me an example with the present perfect? One example. Nobody? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, finish the video. Let's go ahead and finish the video. Use will plus passive or be going to plus passive for actions that will begin in the future. More computers will be affected by viruses. More healthcare sites are going to be used by people from home. The passive is most often used when it is not known or it is not important to know who performed the action. The phrase by plus doer of the action is only used when it is important to know who performed the action. Okay, for example, if I say to you a new law was passed by the President. Una nueva ley fue pasada o aprobada por el presidente. By the president. You can say eh, a let's say a new highway was built by the Ministerio de Obras Publicas. Right? A new highway was built by Ministerio de Obras Publicas. Una nueva carretera fue construida por el Ministerio de Obras Publicas. Or I can say um, a, a, oh, okay. The winning goal was scored by uh, Leonel Messi. Leonel, for example. El gol ganador fue anotado por Leonel Messi. The winning goal was scored by Leonel Messi. Any questions? Any questions at this moment? Can somebody give me an example? Can anybody give me one example? Okay. 
Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, finish the video. For example, the song was sung. The song was sung by my favorite singer. Only transitive verbs can be used in the passive. Intransitive verbs such as happen, seem, sleep cannot be used in the passive form. Try typing a sentence using passive in each tense. All right, let's go to the next activity, which is section 3.8, knowledge check. Instructions, complete the sentences with the correct form of the verb, in parentheses. Sometimes more than one answer is possible. No capital letters or periods are needed. Follow the examples. Webcams hmm, used in the future to broadcast college classes will be used or are going to be used. All right. At this moment, does anybody have any questions? At this moment, does anybody have any questions? Okay. I would like for you to work on this exercise with the partner, and then we're going to check it together. One student can share the screen. One student can share the screen. Ready? Let's go. Do you need any help? Uh, Daisy, Damaris, Erica, do you guys need any help? I know that uh, Arsenio, you are with Juan Eduardo and Sandra. I'm going to move you to number three with Elisa and Saul. Uh, Daisy, can you hear me, Daisy? Hello, hello, Daisy, can you hear me? All right, Daisy, we're gonna move you. And uh, I think Gloria has internet connections. And Erica, you are going to be with Elisa and Saul. All right, remember guys, you gotta press the button to enter. La siete y la ocho se utiliza el... It will be. Ah, uh, yes. And at number two, will be released. Uh, and uh, number six, will be created. created. And number A will be used. Used. But, uh, and the number one, three, four, four, five, six, it, uh, in my case, but, but, Number one is had been infected. Had, had been, been infected. Okay. Been infected. Thank you, Damaris. Infected. AD. A verb. A great ED, I bear, I'll be bear. Yes, I think it's correct. Number three. Esa la tengo mal. Oh, y como la contestó? Uh, la cuatro, si sí, la tengo buena, dice, es have been set up. Okay, have been. Set up for it that has been set up. 
Yes. In number five. You are nothing. <laughs> nothing. Mm. No, esa, esa yo la, las he contestado, pero, pero las tengo malas. Um, la, number five and six. Mm -hmm. uh, Is everybody finished? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. Can you hear me, teacher? Number yes. three. Yes. <laughs> What's number three? Number three. Yes. yes. We're going to do it together right now. All right. Welcome back, guys. Let me have one volunteer give me the answer for number one. What is the answer for number one? One volunteer. One volunteer, number one. What is your answer? Erica? Daisy, Arsenio, Elisa, Carlos, Elmer, Sandra, one volunteer, please. Have been infected. Very good. Have been infected. Can you read the complete sentence, please? How some of computer already have been infected by spyware. By spy spyware. Excellent. All right, good job. Uh, who can give me number two? Number two, one volunteer. Number two, one volunteer. Me, teacher. All right, Elmer, let's go. Uh, will be realized will be realized realized will okay. be realized good job all right let me have one more volunteer for number three are being started excellent anna can you read the complete sentence please okay of blog are being started on all sorts and topics every day. Perfect, perfect. Good job. Uh, number four. Who can give me the answer for number four? One volunteer, number four. I miss it, sir. Go ahead, Sandra. Number four, please. Recently, more hotspots had been set up in a small town. Very good. Hot spots have been set up. Good job. All right. Excellent. Let me have the next participant, one volunteer for number five. Read number five, please. Number five. Anybody? Anybody? Somebody. Number five. No days. Team Gloria, excellent, Gloria. Are being monitored by concerned parents. Very good. Nowadays, teen chat rooms are being monitored by concerned parents, of course. Excellent. Thank you, Gloria. Uh, let me have number six. 
Number six. Who can do number six? Somebody. Number six. Car Bain Donglad. Very good. Can you read the complete sentence, please? These days, podcasts are being downloaded by people all of, of all ages. Ages. Excellent. Ages. ages. Very good. Okay. Good job. Um, the next one, please. Number seven. Number seven, one volunteer. Number seven, one volunteer. Somebody, one volunteer. Me, teacher. <clears throat> All right, Carlos. Okay, uh, some beers will be created created that no security software can detect. Excellent. Very good. Good job. Thank you. Let's go for number eight. Who can give me number eight? Me, teacher. All right. Elmer. Okay. Webcams will be used in the future to broadcast college classes. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Good job, guys. Let's go ahead and look at the results. Perfect. Perfect. Everybody did excellent. Do you guys have any questions about the pronunciation of this vocabulary or the meaning of these words. Any questions? Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, Juan. Uh, ¿Cómo saber cuando usar will or going to? Ah, ok. Yo me puse going to y siempre estaba buena la respuesta. Sí. Eh, en el caso del passive voice, eh, puede usar uno o el otro. Eh, normalmente el will es utilizado cuando es algo, digamos, um, no es algo como agendado. Y el going to es, sí es algo que tú agendas, right? Es algo como más formal. Ok, thank you, teacher. Yes. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one, guys. Excellent work on teacher. this one. Hi. Sorry. Um, can you hear me? Ah, yes. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I don't know. Is no right the correct number five and number six, please. Okay. Or number five is are being monitored. And number six is are being downloaded. Monitor in number six. Are oh, being. being downloaded. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Okay, let's look at the next one, listening exercise. For this activity, you're going to listen to the audios and complete the activity. I would like for you to work in pairs, and then we will check. Ready, let's go.
Can you see the platform? I see. Yes. Okay. How do you feel about the internet? A. Listen to Edward, Ting, and Maria talking about how they use the internet. Who do you think is the most enthusiastic about the internet? Our question today is, how do you feel about the internet? Call in and let us know. Here's our first caller. What's your name? It's Edward. Hi, Edward. How do you feel about the internet? Well, I use it every day at work. It's true that it makes my life easier. Email and instant messaging are especially useful for me at work. When I'm at home, I do a little online shopping because it's just so convenient. There's no doubt that it's a useful tool, but it's not healthy to spend too much time with it, if you ask me. Okay. Thanks, Edward. Let's take another call. Hello? What's your name? I'm Ting. How do you feel about the internet, Ting? Well, basically, I'm the outdoorsy type, and I'd much rather be kayaking or hiking than web surfing. But I'll admit that the internet is the best place to get the news. So I'll go online for a couple of minutes a day. Plus, I'm taking this class that's only offered online. So I have to use the internet for that class and to do homework for it too. So I'd have to say that online is not my favorite place to be. Fair enough, Ting. We've got time for one more call. Hello, what's your name? Maria. How do you feel about the internet, Maria? Well, I don't know how I'd live without it. I use it at work, of course, but that's only the beginning. As soon as I get home, I log on to my favorite chat room to talk to my friends. We've all got webcams set up so we can see each other, too. Plus, I'm always downloading the latest computer games I love to play. Oh, and I've just started my own blog. When I'm online, I'm having so much fun that I sometimes forget the time and... Well, that's all we have time for today. Tune in again tomorrow for this special... Okay, eh, bueno, en mi, en my case, the answer is Maria. And what about you? Eduardo. Yes, Maria. And the Maris? Yes, Maria. Okay. The part two is um, the instruction is listen again, doesn't Edward E. Tim T or Maria M mentioned this use the use of the internet. Write only the letter of the names of these people. Don't forget that to take the letter is capital. You, know, you do not need to take the brackets. How do you feel about the internet? A. Listen to Edward, Ting, and Maria talking about how they use the internet. Who do you think is the most enthusiastic about the internet? Our question today is, how do you feel about the internet? Call in and let us know. Here's our first caller. What's your name? It's Edward. Hi, Edward. How do you feel about the internet? Well, I use it every day at work. It's true that it makes my life easier. Email and instant messaging are especially useful for me at work. When I'm at home, I do a little online shopping because it's just so convenient. There's no doubt that it's a useful tool, but it's not healthy to spend too much time with it, if you ask me. Okay. Thanks, Edward. Let's take another call. Hello? What's your name? I'm Ting. How do you feel about the internet, Ting? Well, basically, 
I'm the outdoorsy type, and I'd much rather be kayaking or hiking than web surfing. But I'll admit that the internet is the best place to get the news. So I'll go online for a couple of minutes a day. Plus, I'm taking this class that's only offered online. So I have to use the internet for that class and to do homework for it too. So I'd have to say that online is not my favorite place to be. Fair enough, Ting. We've got time for one more call. Hello, what's your name? Maria. How do you feel about the internet, Maria? Well, I don't know how I'd live without it. I use it at work, of course, but that's only the beginning. As soon as I get home, I log on to my favorite chat room to talk to my... Who use chat rooms? Edward C. or Maria? Maria. Yes, Maria. M. work. It's true that it makes my life easier. Email and instant messaging are especially useful for me at work. When I'm at home, I do a little online shopping because it's just so convenient. There's no doubt that it's a useful tool, but it's not healthy to spend too much time with it, if you ask me. Okay. Thanks, Edward. Let's take another call. Hello? What's your name? I'm Ting. How do you feel about the internet, Ting? Well, basically, I'm the outdoorsy type, and I'd much rather be kayaking or hiking than web surfing. But I'll admit that... Number nine. Nine? Ting. 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 Number ten. Only shopping. Edward. Edward. Okay. So, it's correct. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. In the latest computer games, I love to play. Oh, who used All right, let's go ahead and listen to the first one. How do you feel about the internet? A, listen to Edward, Ting, and Maria talking about how they use the internet. Who do you think is the most enthusiastic about the internet? Our question today is, how do you feel about the Internet? Call in and let us know. Here's our first caller. What's your name? It's Edward. Hi, Edward. How do you feel about the Internet? Well, I use it every day at work. It's true that it makes my life easier. Email and instant messaging are especially useful for me at work. When I'm at home, I do a little online shopping because it's just so convenient. There's no doubt that it's a useful tool, but it's not healthy to spend too much time with it, if you ask me. Okay. Thanks, Edward. Let's take another call. Hello? 
What's your name? I'm Ting. How do you feel about the internet, Ting? Well, basically, I'm the outdoorsy type, and I'd much rather be kayaking or hiking than web surfing. But I'll admit that the internet is the best place to get the news, so I'll go online for a couple of minutes a day. Plus, I'm taking this class that's only offered online, so I have to use the internet for that class and to do homework for it too. So I'd have to say that online is not my favorite place to be. Fair enough, Ting. We've got time for one more call. Hello, what's your name? Maria. How do you feel about the internet, Maria? Well, I don't know how I'd live without it. I use it at work, of course, but that's only the beginning. As soon as I get home, I log on to my favorite chat room to talk to my friends. We've all got webcams set up so we can see each other, too. Plus, I'm always downloading the latest computer games I love to play. Oh, and I've just started my own blog. When I'm online, I'm having so much fun that I sometimes forget the time and... Well, that's all we have time for today. Tune in again tomorrow for this special show. All right, what is the answer for the first one? Who can give me the answer? Number one. One volunteer. The most enthusiastic is Maria, teacher. Excellent. Maria is correct. Let's look at the second audio. Our question today is, how do you feel about the internet? Call in and let us know. Here's our first caller. What's your name? It's Edward. Hi, Edward. How do you feel about the internet? Well, I use it every day at work. It's true that it makes my life easier. Email and instant messaging are especially useful for me at work. When I'm at home, I do a little online shopping because it's just so convenient. There's no doubt that it's a useful tool, but it's not healthy to spend too much time with it, if you ask me. Okay. Thanks, Edward. Let's take another call. Hello? What's your name? I'm Ting. How do you feel about the internet, Ting? Well, basically, I'm the outdoorsy type, and I'd much rather be kayaking or hiking than web surfing. But I'll admit that the internet is the best place to get the news. So I'll go online for a couple of minutes a day. Plus, I'm taking this class that's only offered online. So I have to use the internet for that class and to do homework for it too. So I'd have to say that online is not my favorite place to be. Fair enough, Ting. We've got time for one more call. Hello, what's your name? Maria. How do you feel about the internet, Maria? Well. I don't know how I'd live without it. I use it at work, of course, but that's only the beginning. As soon as I get home, I log on to my favorite chat room to talk to my friends. We've all got webcams set up so we can see each other, too. Plus, I'm always downloading the latest computer games I love to play. Oh, and I've just started my own blog. When I'm online, I'm having so much fun that I sometimes forget the time and... Well, that's all we have time for today. Tune in again tomorrow for this special show. Okay. Who can give me the answer for chat rooms? chat rooms is maria. maria maria news news ting ting very good webcams maria maria downloading maria maria Computer games. 
María. María. Blogs. María. María. Email. Edward. Edward. Instant messaging. Edward. Edward. Online courses. Ting. Ting. Online shopping. Edward. Edward. Correct. Very good. Good job, guys. Any questions about this activity? No question, teacher. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one, which is section number 3.6. In this class, participants will learn to use expressions for connecting ideas formally. Connecting ideas formally. Let's listen, please. Nevertheless, you have studied a lot. It is important to keep on learning. So get ready to connect ideas. Connecting ideas formally. Okay. So let's look at these right here. Uh, listen, please. Additionally. As a result. For example. For instance, furthermore, indeed, in fact, likewise, nevertheless, on the other hand, similarly, Therefore, all right, let's listen to the video. Additionally, as a result, for example, for instance, furthermore, indeed, in fact, likewise, nevertheless, on the other hand, similarly, therefore, Look at the following expressions. Can you connect ideas using them? Type them on a discussion box. All right, now for this activity, what you're going to do is you're going to give me examples using, if you ask me the way I see it, that may be true, but, I see your point, but that's why the reason for that is, and you are going to write your examples on the discussion box over here. Any questions? You're going to write five examples, five examples. Ready, let's go. Expresiones de este de las expresiones. If you ask me the way I see it, that might be that may be true, but 
I see your point, but that's why the reason for that is, but, pero, <laughs> pero no, no explicó cuánto se usa. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, lo va a poner. Eh, pero lo que pasa es que se quedó trabado. Trabó. Oh. Why? On the other hand, similarly, therefore. Look at the following expressions. Can you connect ideas using them? Type them on a discussion box. Expressing. If you ask, if you ask, ask me. Mm -hmm. si Expressing me. Pero un momentito, por un momentito. Ok. Sorry, Lisa. Yeah, come here. No problem. Ok. Eh, entonces, los ejemplos eh, son por cada eh, expression, opinion, desiring, y given the reason. Yes. Five examples. Five, oh. ex <laughs> five, five examples de cada uno. No, me imagino que por todo. Pero ah, en, uno. En, uh -huh. I suppose, for example, in, in the example, let uh -huh. that say, the way I see it, the internet is a positive influence because, because it brings up as information for all the over the world, the answer is that may be true, but in my option, that's not always a good thing, in fact. Ese es un ejemplo que está ahí, mm -hmm. pero no sé, no se me ocurre. No nos dio muchas options. ¿Y Sandra o, o, o Elisa no tienen algún ejemplo? No, yo no. no. O, o, o después en los ejercicios que hay que completar después no hay como oraciones así parecidas. Entendí que en los ejemplos tenemos que poner ejemplos donde nosotros estamos eh, de acuerdo y donde no estamos de acuerdo y donde estamos dando opinión. Yo estoy desde el teléfono y no puedo verlo ah, en la plataforma. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You ask me expression opinion. The way I see it. Mm. 
No, la verdad no sé cómo cómo hacerlo. Sí, <ríe> ahorita estoy recordando que en el, en el pre avanzado creo que no tienen unos ejemplos, pero no tengo a la mano uh -huh. eso y no recuerdo mucho. I don't know, remember. Don't remember? No. Nothing, nothing? Nothing. <laughs> I can, I can, um, This reserve reserve the exercise. I don't know. Is everybody finished? No, teacher. No. Um, no. No. Understand. No. Understand in the exercise. Oh, okay. Let me give you some examples. Yeah. Okay. All right, welcome back, guys. Did everybody finish or do you need more time? Okay. More time. Two, two minutes, two minutes, teacher. Two more minutes, okay. Well, uh, let me give you some examples. Uh, for example, the first one says, if you ask me, okay, You can say, for example, um, if, let's see, if you ask me where should not exist, if you ask me, War should not exist. Or you could say, if you ask me, walking is good for your heart. All right? So those are just two examples uh, that you can write down. Okay, guys, I gotta go. I have another class. So we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good night, teacher. Good night, guys. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, guys. Tomorrow we review. Mañana repasamos. Tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.